Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all well. Hope you all had a great week. Um, a little bit of an experiment. I've been watching a couple of people do um, inserts into blanks, and I thought I'd give it a bit of a bash. So what I've got is I had these 22 mil dowels left from a oak porch I did, so I thought I'd use these up rather than buying some other stuff to start with. So what I did is I got a blank and I worked out every 45 degrees to give me my equal spacing and then I ran a line through the center of the blank drilled it on the pillar drill so it was square and then I pegged them in and glued them so I did that last night and they're now glued so I've trimmed those off so now I'm going to get it onto the lathe and see how it comes out so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a basic bowl um, to see how these pegs show up on the inside that's the basic rule in tonight and they're all today and then um, if it works then I'll get some different woods pegs and we'll make a groovy trendy cool looking bowl so anyway let's get this on the lathe and uh, see how it comes out so I'll meet you guys over there So at the moment, this is turning quite well, with the oak plugs in it. Um, I, was, I thought that because we're turning the oak on the end grain, that it may chip and splinter out, but it's actually turning quite well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a bit of sand and sealer on it, give a couple of coats of sand and sealer, and then sand it up and uh, give it a bit of a polish. We've got a basic shape. Like I say, it's nothing special. It's just going to be uh, a trial piece. So uh, let's give it a coat of sand and sealer. And seal the wood. this paper towel I'll keep breaking up absolutely love this wood I love the way it glimmers in the light it absolutely always amazes me how <clears throat> the grains reflect the light whether you're going from this light and you spin it you've got a bit of a shimmer you're coming from this light here you've still got a glimmer there that absolutely amazing piece of wood beautiful wood right so we'll give it a coat of um, I think I'm going to give it a coat of wax actually. Uh, I know I normally use friction polish, 
but I think for a change I'm going to give her a coat of Hampshire give her a coat of Hampshire Sheen um, high gloss paste so uh, we'll see how it comes out with that and at the moment I am really liking the way this looks so maybe it's um, I've got one slightly higher there for some reason I don't know whether that's the way the blank was or whether it's not quite the blank's not quite true perhaps I should have trued the blank up first before I um, drilled it but like I say this is just a trial and um, you learn by your mistakes so we will rectify that on the next one because I really want to make a um, if this comes out okay I want to make a, a bigger bowl with several different types of wood in it and maybe sort of scatter them about a little bit just to give them a bit of detail but we will see, see how this one comes out first so we'll give that 10 minutes to soak in and then we'll come back and polish up not quite as shiny as I'd like well we'll leave it at that for now and then um, that might buff up better if I when I spin on the other way so we'll get it flipped over and get the middle hollowed out without going all the way through because as you may have saw if you watched last week's video, um, the oak platter, I went all the way through the bottom of that and hopefully I won't do it on this one. So let's give it a go. gone as dare, deep as I dare go. I think that's about two mil if that. So um, yeah, um, don't know really. Let me just zoom in a little bit if I can find the one. Let's have a look. Right, so I don't know if you can see where the plugs have come through. Obviously where you push the plugs through you get a little bit of a gap at the end what's supposed to be filled with glue and there's a little bit of a, a void in there um, perhaps what I should have done is not drill them so deep and only had the the plugs on the outside here um, but like I said from the start this is just a trial to see how we go obviously if the bowl was deeper and we was drilling turn out further it wouldn't be a problem because obviously we'd end up with the the oak dowels true on the outside all turned out on the inside so um, no I suppose I could fill them with glue or resin uh, let them fill up uh, or super glue even I suppose and then just sand them down but um, no 
it's uh, turned out all right other than that. Well, I'm going to get this quickly sanded up. Zoom you back out a little bit. Well, I'm going to quickly sand this up and then um, get it finished. Like I say, it was an experiment from the start. I'm not unhappy with it. Um, I'm quite pleased how it's gone, to be honest. I suppose I could turn that a little bit thinner, but I'm quite happy how thin that is. So let's get it sanded down and finished up. Well, there she is. Like I say, we just got that issue with the obviously the glue not being at the end. But like I said, if these have been turned right down in a deeper bowl, these pegs I think are a little bit big for this small bowl. But that's all I had at the time. So um, I suppose I could have turned some down on the lathe, but it was just a quick experiment. But it's worked how I want it to work. So. Um, yeah, not bad.